basically be around like-minded people and, and have it be together and have that community and mm. <laughs>missed i'm back from scotland and um talking about charts <laughs> and so it's monday not too much is happening uh, in the markets although i am long now on uh, footsie i feel that if footsie is to rebound and uh, then this is the time and the place so um i'll show you uh, we had um almost we've got our how to put it our inside bar so to speak um technical bounce off of the april lows um, so we had the weekly bar closed last week as a as a small pin bar um, and now we're trading on the inside of that pin bar so the high of that pin bar is at around 7131 now if we go down to the daily we've had a couple of pin bars on here over the last few days um, rejecting the previous low with a potential breakout now so if we get a breakout this 71 uh, kind of 7133 7135 around this level here then we should see a nice run back up to that seven and a half level um, in our position on the FTSE so I, here is my trade here um, I have my position already on and ready for the, the move higher um, looking at my stop loss bin below the previous low we're in at one lot um, looking to take target around that 7477 seven level at the previous high for a 4,392 pounds profit position. Um, so nice nice amount of profit if we get the move that we're ex in expecting. And um, in my opinion, I feel that if we are to see price move higher, then we'll see that here. Um, we have had a, a reasonable market drop off of around 9.3% 9, 9 from that seven and a half level. From the all time high to where we are now, it's a sell off of 13, um, 0.34% so we have had a reasonable kind of leg down now um, and we should see that rebound back in as equities become more valued um, for individuals to jump back onto the market and um, we are getting that kind of uh, message across US data as well saying that the US indices are overpriced and will this spur on UK and EU um, indices uh, value for a target and for individuals to cash out of US stocks and move over to European equities, um, which we, we are foreseeing as a potential, especially going into 2019. From an index point of view, I think, like I said, we've bounced off of that just below that 7,000 level now. Um, and we have seen some sort of price stability. The DAX is up over 255 points on the day, um, which is obviously mega, and we are seeing that flow through into other areas. Um, today alone, we're seeing Kia Group up 3.6%, SVT, 7 Trent, 1.36% in the green, uh, National Grid up 1.12%, Pets at Home up 1.37%, um, whereas we are seeing US equities and getting absolutely smashed today. We're seeing Amazon down $42, down 2.6%. Uh, 
Alibaba uh, is down four four percent. Uh, Google is down just under one percent at the moment. Microsoft is uh, around flat. Netflix is down two and a half percent. We obviously are seeing uh, nice Tesla again up uh, three point six one percent, blasting into that three forty two range. And Apple is also up. So. Uh, majority of the red is actually coming from the US markets, whereas majority of the green is coming from the European markets, which is an interesting uh, story as well. Um, for those that are obviously um, looking at Facebook as a good potential buy, Facebook in my eyes is a great buy. Um, we also have the uh, third quarter um, profits announcement coming out on the 30th. Yeah, we've got earnings announcements, uh, Q3 2018. Uh, EPS at 1.48 and the consensus revenue at 13.8 billion. So uh, we could see a, a, a we're, we're predicting an 8 to 10 percent movement, either up or down, depending on if they miss uh, expectations or beat expectations. Uh, personally, I think they will beat expectations um, as more kind of advertisement money goes into Facebook um, as one of their core earners. Um, so that's something that I am focused on. Although obviously in their last announcement, they did see that their uh, user growth was dropping, um, which in my eyes is natural when you're that size. You are about to hit a point of maturity when you, you're pretty much global and every single user in the world is basically on there. Um, so I think that's, um, uh, it's one of their issues is obviously the user growth side but again revenues I think that we could see uh, profits above that 13.8 billion but we will find out tomorrow so if you're keen Facebook looks like potentially the on the watch list especially uh, for the announcement tomorrow everything's going amazing just planning and preparing for tonight's webinar and obviously our Thursday event which has had nearly 600 registrations uh, for the nightclub of the traders event with everyone turning up their investors crypto enthusiasts FX traders Guys, if you've been following YouTube and you're a subscriber, you're all invited. The link will be in the description. Make sure you turn up on time so that you can all meet the team, have a drink, talk about the markets, what you're doing, where you are at in your journey. It'd be awesome to get an understanding uh, of where you're at and just basically be around like-minded people and have it be together and have that community. and mm, mm, just, just be together and all those sparks of brains in one place just like genius a yeah it was pretty terrible that was terrible <laughs> it was terrible but i mean the night will be awesome so i mean it would be a, a really good meet up drinks social standard that would be it that would be great mm. don't have to have all the a mm, <laughs> little bit weird <laughs> Either way, I was just trying to get across that, that, that energy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be a good one. Elliot's so excited to see everyone. Where's the middle? <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the zone, you just... Yeah. I'll wait for the finger. Um, so yeah, pretty excited. It'll be really good. Guys, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and we hope that the editor gets it in the right order that I say it this time, because in every video it gets it wrong, so uh, that would be awesome if we could get that. Uh, what else? Love you and leave you. See you tomorrow.